Hi, Scottish Mud Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we're on the banks of the Tay and we are joined by India and Nathan from the BBC who've come along to talk to us about Mud Larkin. Hello, I'm India. I'm a reporter for the BBC Scotland. Hey, I'm Nathan. I'm the cameraman. Hello, me. Hi. <laughs> There's a really nicely frosted piece of, uh, call the sea foam, right? I mean, it's, it's very sea foam, I think. Yeah, yeah. This piece here, what do you make of that? It looks old. Oh, that's it's very nice. It's a huge nice. piece. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Oh, that's a very nice shape. That could make a really nice big pendant. Ah. I think that's a bottle bottom. It may be not, it's yeah. got odd curves. It's got a crease line here, yeah. which looks like a bottle bottom, but then mm -hmm. it has a curve here. Hmm, how strange. Well, yeah, maybe it is from, from a bottle. That's going to be coming off the, the beach with us, I think. Oh, Nicole's found something. Let's go see what that is. Well, I just found some styrofoam. What have you got? <laughs> well, it's a piece with lettering on it. So let's see what's on it. It's right over here. Okay, dokes. Okay. Can you see it? Ah, oh, yeah, we can see that it's tucked in there. Mm-hmm. I think that says what? Mm. Well, we, there might be a little bit of a clue there. <laughs> e, D, I. Okay. Do you think it's Edinburgh? I think it's Edinburgh, yeah. Oh, how strange. It's come quite a distance for the, for a piece of glass. Yeah, well, maybe it's something else, but yeah, it's definitely close to being Edinburgh. Yeah, quite thick. Mm. Okay, we'll, we'll have that. that. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can find a smarty stick. Well, do you know what I've just found? Mm -hmm. Proof of where we are in bottle form. Oh. So amongst all this... Uh, plastic that we've got up here and a bit of plastic here we can trace down we've got a nice wee bit of a uh, clear glass there it's really nicely frosted and you may have seen this this letter d alongside that uh -huh. D-U-N, yeah yeah i reckon that's a safe bet that uh, we're across the river from that very town that very city <laughs> very telling yeah Really lovely when the sun's out. Oh yeah, well that's nice. I'm very happy with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe bottle top. Yeah, oh, it's blue. blue. Oh lovely. I like a bottle top. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favourite yeah, yeah. things. Just found this piece of that's from the blue willow oh. pattern. So oh, I love the blue willow. Yeah. yeah. So, see, that's the person in the boat. Oh cool. <laughs> that's so cool. It's really lovely. It's a really nice shape for a pendant and perfectly frosted and just lovely. Really heavy. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that lovely? close in on you, your guys hands so if you maybe just pass them over but again just as you did before like looking at them into, yeah rotate them. I don't shape the the sea glass or the pottery at all so I only collect what I uh, can make into jewelry so this really lovely big blue piece mm -hmm. which is like a cobalt blue mm -hmm. that can be turned into a really nice statement pendant mm -hmm. that's perfect that's really nice that's lovely um, I don't think that piece can be a bottleneck, it's far too big. It's kind of flat on this side as well, but it's got a really nice wee curve in there. Mm, it could be the side of a bottle, it's a really nice colour. I found a vulcanite stone! 
stopper. Nicole's just said she's found a Vulcanite stopper, so let's go have a look at that. Okay, so here we are at Nicole's Vulcanite stopper site. Can you see it? Can you see that Vulcanite stopper? It's a cracker, it's a really nice one as well. Right in the middle of the shot here. There it is. Now I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here, mark it for ourselves. I'll put a green piece here. Yeah, so yeah, that'll be so easy to find on this huge <laughs> beach later. <laughs> Let's hope. It's okay. actually right in front of you. It's right in front of me. So we haven't seen that one before. Yeah, yeah. How cool. That's pretty cool. Such good eyes. Yeah, <laughs> so. Yes. Oh. oh, that's a really cool one. That's a really good one. It's from Stilly. Uh-huh. And that's a, a company? Oh, uh, well, it's, um, it was a... Uh... Stilly was made just across the river in Dundee. The company that manufactured Stillade was called Robertson's. Another company called Robertson's produced marmalade in Dundee, but we can't find if they're the same company or not. Stillade was a fruit juice. It was made from pure fruit juice fortified with bucket loads of sugar, which was added as a preservative. Stillade came in various flavours, lime, lemon, grapefruit, orange and ginger. Nicole also read that they'd made a strawberry drink. There's very little information on the Robertson's company, though we do know that they made a counterfeit cola, called Polar Cola. They also made a health drink, called Dextora, and Dextora was basically liquid glucose, or concentrated sugar, in a bottle. There's quite a large piece here, that's definitely a bottle bottom. Don't know what one though, it's really thick, very very heavy. What do you make of that? That's really heavy. Oh right, yeah. Look how thick that is. Oh yeah, that's a really nice bottle bottom isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I found as well? Just no. keep that there as a wee platform. I'll just, just off to the side, a lovely wee agate. Aww. It shines really nicely against that bottle as well. Yeah, that is really nice, isn't it? Pebbles give off such a nice colour when they're uh, when they're still wet and when the sun's shining on them especially. And there's a wee wishing stone. This is definitely a wee wishing stone. Oh wow! That's a really bold looking wishing stone. I've never seen one quite this colour either. It's almost brownie stone. <laughs> That's very cool. That's such a nice colour. It looks like it might even be a wishing stone as well. Bonus. Beautiful colour and you get a wish. Cool. Shard of white glass down here. Maybe just see that. I think there's some lettering on it. Just pop it here. Maybe we can see the lettering that way. I reckon, I guess, that's a bars bottle. Quite new, 70s maybe. Another larger shard. Oh wow. That also looks like it says bars, but it's so well frosted it's barely visible. Mm. Okay, we'll maybe need Nicole's help to have a look at that one properly. Oh, that's cool. What could that be? 
looks like the bottom of a jar. It's not uh, it's not milk glass. I don't think it's milk glass, but that's really cool. It has some writing on it there. Now, I don't know if the camera is picking that up. Can you make out what that says? Oh, let's see. Um, o B R I D O O B R I T. Hmm. hmm. I think we'll have to take that home. We'll throw those letters <laughs> into a search engine and see what it comes back with. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Cool. And we've got some pirate sea gas. So how likely is this to have come from the Spanish Armada? Um, it's it's probably a stretch, but it could have come from the Spanish Armada, but it's more likely uh, to have been Victorian. Okay. I don't think this is milk glass. I have a funny feeling it's a piece of a uh, old bottle, but it's quite an interesting piece. This actually looks like the lip of a lid. Quite a big one as well. It might have been a wee jug. Maybe something a little bit bigger than a bottleneck. We'll, we'll take that along. Let Nicole see that, see what she makes of it. Well, that's a couple of the things that I've just found. As mm -hmm. you can see, a lot of wishing stones there yeah. and some really uniquely coloured wishing stones. Yeah, that's really nice. You found a really lovely, whoops, whoops a daisy. red one. <laughs> that's really nice. And that's uh, really red, very, very red, particularly when it gets a little bit wet. Yeah, that's really nice, really nice line. It almost looks like a seagull. And then you found a bit of a Victorian uh, jar, maybe from a, an ink jar. That I wasn't sure about. It's far too big a neck for a bottle, but it does look like a, a bottleneck. Yeah, yeah, it could have been from a master ink, so uh, if that would be the top, because it is very thick, like you see. Yeah. And what I've noticed, what is really nice, I don't know if you noticed, this white piece has BAL on it, so ah, I, I am guessing it might have been from the Ballingal Brewery. Right, okay, now I saw that, and you can see that there's a smaller piece in there, uh -huh. and it also has a B and an A, but I thought that was an R. Now, oh. I couldn't quite see it properly because I was in the shade back there. Mm -hmm. No, it definitely says B-A-L. So both of those pieces say B-A-L. Uh, no, this one looks like it says R-B-E-R. Uberated, it's not uh, uberated, aerated, mm. it's not aerated, but it's a really cute piece. We'll, do, we'll take a closer look at that, I think, because yeah, it looked to me like that had maybe, maybe bars written on it. Oh. Um, but uh, I, I hadn't, I wasn't able to read the other one. It was far too dark there, and as you can see, mm -hmm. that's worn so much that it's 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 flat. It's a flat piece of glass. It There's is, no raised yeah. lettering on that. The lettering is just yeah yeah. It's it, it's there, but <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> that is really smooth. Yeah, that's a really nice piece. And then you find this massive, really kind of dark aqua piece. That's really thick, very yeah. heavy glass. Uh -huh. That's really nice. I thought maybe part of uh, an old cod bottle, but you know, who can tell, right? Yeah, it could be, yeah. If it, it might just be really worn, it might have had some writing on it. It looks like there's a little bit there, but it's, uh, it's so worn away, so it's yeah. really smooth. Yeah. Ah, have you seen this? Now, I don't think it's what it, it looked like at first. This wee thing. Oh. Now, it's not a fairy light. Mm. I know it has these marks, but fairy lights came in all shapes and sizes. Mm. But you can tell with this piece here that that's a base. So this would have been a wee bowl, maybe of some description, a wee fancy bowl, fancy yeah. glass bowl. Yeah, yeah, but not uh, shipman's base, so that's really nice. No, definitely not shipman's base, no. I'll show you what I've just spotted and I put it next to that oh, one. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I'm not sure if there's enough light shining on this for everybody to see. And this is, this is lovely, this rose coloured. Is this very yeah, rare? That is, that is a lavender piece. So ah. that's what uh, I think. Okay, I think that contrast is pretty clear. I think you can see the difference between this. This would have originally been very similarly coloured to this piece. Mm -hmm. Just a really clear piece of white glass. But you can see now it's no longer anywhere near as white as this piece. No, it's turned lavender. Yeah. And that's really nice. It's a really nice example. It's nice when you can see two pieces side by side like this. Yeah. You really get the impression of what's going on there. Yeah, and I really like the lavender glass. So I think we'll, we'll take this and we'll take this as well because it's really nice shape.
So what have you found then? You had some nice finds. Aha, uh -huh. I found two very cool things. One thing I was really hoping to find and another unexpected find. It's a Smarties thing. Excellent. Is mm. it a letter that we don't have, do you know? <laughs> well, it's one of these universal ones, so it can be a P or it can be a D. So if we use it as a D, I think it might just fit in our alphabet. Okay, we can check that back with a frame. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I found, it's very cool, is a black vulcanite stopper. And this one also has still eat written on it. Oh, that's so, very cool. Yeah, so it's the same one that India found in yellow. And this one is the blank version of it. Cool. Yeah. We'll have to have a wee look at what still aid was. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of thinking maybe lemonade, but with still lemonade. <laughs> Flat lemonade? <laughs> yeah. Mm, big seller back in the aerated water days. <laughs> the unique feature of this aerated water is it's not aerated. Yeah. So, two really cool finds. Cool. Uh, Mommy feet. Mm. And that's also from the Balingar just over there in the mud, mm. in the actual mud. We actually, um, actually found out a few years ago. And the, uh, these, uh, these have got pork pines because they look like pork pines. Pines. Yeah. Uh, Nice piece of sea foam glass here. Oh, I think Nicole's found something. Let's have a wee look and see what she's found. So that's a really nice find. That's really awesome we find. It there. is, yeah. You know I love milk glass, right? And this one's the top of a jar. Yeah. So that's really cool. Well, who knows? Let's look. Maybe we'll find a whole one. Oh yeah, maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> So earlier on, India found a really nice vulcanite stopper and we said we would show them what a vulcanite stopper went into and it's one of these. So let's go do that. Yeah. So I think this is a far better bottleneck than the one that we just found. Um, but sadly it's next to a couple of dead crabs. There's a lot of dead crabs. The, the water must have been really violent recently. But I'm looking at this piece here. We'll take it out of there and take a closer look over here. That's really cool. You can really clearly see those internal uh, screw marks there. Really nice one. That's a much bigger chunk of bottleneck with an internal thread there. Do you reckon that's going to fit that white vulcanite stopper? Yeah, I think it might. Let's see. It's a perfect fit. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> it's so nifty. <laughs> I literally just heard Nicole make a wee squeal and she's beckoning me over. Yeah. What could it be? Stopped in my track. Oh right, you I see what see it, it is. Yeah, I'm just going to scan past <laughs> that and uh, yeah, bang the screen if you can see it. <laughs> so, can you see it? I've gone past it now. <laughs> there it is. Maybe Nicole can reach in and pick that up. Yes, there. Lovely. Yeah, and the white ones are really, really rare. They're usually sea foam um, and any other colour in white, green, blue even, um, that's really rare. So I'm really chuffed with this one. Good find. Yeah, I'll turn it around a little bit. You can see it's missing a tiny bit, but to me it's still perfect. Yeah, awesome find. <laughs> yeah.
Google. Both sets of cameras. We've had a really good day here today and we've found some really cool stuff. It was really nice to be joined by the BBC and what I find, that white vulcanite stopper that India found as well, really cool piece. We're going to get back along to the house now and when we do, we're going to have a closer look at some of those things that we've found and Nicole's going to be making some earrings. We had a lovely day at the Tay and it was great meeting up with India and Nathan of BBC Scotland. I think India had one of the best finds of the day. Let's take a wee look at some of the things that we found that day. We found several pieces of glass. This probe being the nicest of all the pieces of glass that we found that day. This is a really awesome piece of blue glass. It's really big, really chunky, really well frosted as well. It's a really nice find. Can't quite think what this would have been a part of though. If it was a medicine bottle, it would have been a very big bottle. Maybe something that you would find in a chemist. Nicole found this piece, and it looks to me like this is a huge tea. I think Nicole's right, this is probably a Tenants bottle. Tenants is a very popular brand of uh, lager beer in Scotland. We haven't found it very easy to identify this piece, but we think it's just a really awesome piece of glass, a really nice piece of bottle bottom, and that nautical star figure in the middle is just great. All we can say for sure is that the lettering here would have read to the gallon. It's always fun to compare pieces of glass that are in the process of lavendering with pieces that aren't. You can quite clearly see that although it's very light, it's clearly different to this colour. The lettering on this bottle is incredibly faded. Touching it, it feels almost flat. The letters B and A are very clear although the letter L is much, much harder to see. If you remember a while back, we found a vulcanite stopper that had the brewery name Ballingal, and we think that this is a bottle from that same brewery. Nicole found this really quirky wee piece of blue willow pattern. As you can see, there's a wee man in the boat. Really lovely wee piece. We also had a great day for vulcanite stoppers and we found one with a marking that we've never seen before. As you can probably see this one clearly says Anderson on the top of the stopper. Now we've never heard of this uh, company before, we don't know if it's a brewery, if it's a manufacturer of aerated waters or quite what they did but we're going to look into that and see what we can find out and if we find something out we shall let you know in the future. The one thing we do know about Anderson's company is that they were based in Dundee. One of the nicest things about this one is that we can still very clearly read what's on the cap and this one says still aid. Shortly after we had tasked India to see if she could spot this vulcanite stopper, we were walking down the beach and India spotted this one. We'd all just walked right by it. I think without much doubt we could say that this is probably the find of the day. It's a really rare yellow vulcanite stopper. We don't find very many of these at all. And the great thing about this one, you can see on the lid as well, that this is clearly marked Stillade. So we found two Stillade toppers in one day. But more than that, we found this wee piece of glass. 
When I first found it, I thought it said bars. But Nicole pointed out that that's not an A at all. It's an E. And that it once more likely said Robertson. Robertson is the company that manufactures Stillade. So we found three pieces from these Stillade bottles and one go at the beach. To round things off, we found yet another stopper. It's always nice to find one of these wee glass stoppers. They're such lovely wee things. Despite the fact that this one's lost half its top, it's still a great find. Last but not least, Nicole found this Smarties lid. Is it a D? Is it a P? For us, we think it's a D because we don't have one yet.
Thanks to everybody for helping support us through Kofi, through Etsy and through Amazon. That really makes a big difference. Thank you all so much for that. We've had a fantastic day here at the Tay. We're going to head back off to the car now and say cheerio to India and Nathan. It's been a great day with them. Thanks so much for watching, liking and commenting on the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take a minute to subscribe. It really helps us.